Welcome everyone. Today I want to talk about Earth Magic because it seems really good now that I take a look at its stats again, right? And I've been using mostly metal, so I'm comparing them both. And it seems like the only thing that metal has more than earth is destruction, right? So right now, metal magic has 1.2 in size, 0 0.5 in speed. And max damage, right? So it's not maxed out compared to like Earth. You get less destruction, but you get max size, which is 1.3, max damage, and you get like a little bit higher speed. Like it doesn't feel like that much because it has like a what? A 0 0.2 in total increase for everything, which I don't know. But Earth Magic does seem to have more potential in terms of size, I guess, and speed, right? So that means the hits on Earth is gonna be easier to hit than metal. So I'm like, is Earth better than metal in terms of just stats-wise, I guess? Like, I would just say yes, but like, then again, I went to the wiki, because I wasn't sure. Oh, here comes my Roblox login info. Um, that's the Trello, where, where is it? I, I had, oh, <laughs> here it is, um, yeah, you guys can see all my password, you know, so that was great, um, yeah, I mean, anyways, we go over to the Earth Magic in the wiki, class event, clash advantage, it has, like, clash advantage against basically everything besides metal, lightning, and magma, which, I don't think you're gonna clash much with lightning, so you're fine. But metal and magma? Sure, maybe, you know, okay, actually, maybe kind of often, because a lot of people use magma and metal, so... Yeah, that's the bad thing about Earth, you just don't win in clash. So... And also, it inflicts bleed damage, or it doesn't inflict bleed damage like it does with metal. You need to do 33% of their max HP, which is a lot. Ah, what did I press? What did I press? You need to do 33% of their max HP. So, that's a lot. I don't think you can get the bleed effect off of Earth very often. Which is a problem because the bleed gives it 10% more damage, right? Same thing with metal, I believe, right? The other effects aren't important right now because they're not really used a lot, right? Um, if we go over to metal, I know like metal, I mean, I know magma and like acid can boost the damage for earth and metal and stuff, but we don't talk about that. That's too complicated. We talk about bleed damage right now. So, metal magic is very heavy. It is like losing in terms of magic size and speed to earth, but you always cause target to bleed. If an attack deals at least 5% of the max HP, which if you have like about 80 power or so, I'm sure you'll do like 5% of, actually, 5% is like very small. Where'd I go? Something just popped up and then my tab just died. But yeah, 5% is very low, like a low requirement just to cause bleed. And bleed can like do up to like 50 damage. <laughs> Right, after that, so that's a lot compared to like earth magic, right? So I think metal magic might be still better because you get self synergized, right? Where is it? Damage interaction. Oh, this is oh my god. Okay, why is it moving? I'm just trying to highlight it. <laughs> it says deal 5% more damage to against bleeding targets, so it is a little bit nerf, which is a problem, but. Other than that, I think it might be pretty balanced just because the bleed synergize got like, you know, cut in half compared to Earth, right? Um, yeah, but like still, you can pull off bleed easily with metal, so it means you're gonna do damage more consistent. And usually people don't even clear like the effects on them, like the bleed or whatever, right? I don't know, but like the magic size and speed on Earth is really good. I, the only thing bad about having a lot of speed, let me go over to the tab. The only thing bad about having too much speed is that if you're using pulsar magic, 
and it's going too fast, so like, you know, it's going over the target, right? Because usually you would try to like dash towards the pulsar in like a diagonal line to like, you know, attack your enemy if you're a conjurer or warrior at least, but yeah, it's a little bit sus, so maybe having too much speed is bad, but like having more size on earth magic is really good, so... But it's still, it's just like a 0.1 increase, so... I don't think so far it convinced me in paper, in terms of like, on paper, that's like better than metal magic. But I think I'll just like play around with earth magic a little bit. Alright, I got my earth file and my... Let's see, well, my gold file here, so we can test out the radius and compare the damage kinda. So, first, I think I want to... Oh, why do I have fish here? <laughs> but, I want to test everything without gear, right? So, can we test out how big the radius is? I'll be just, like, standing on this edge here. And firing at that corner back there. And use, like, these pillars to compare size. So, let's try blast magic. Which, okay. I mean, it's not... It's really big, actually. And... What about beam? I don't know if beam gets affected. Beam looks normal. I mean, that's fine. What about explosion? Explosion is huge. All of these are at default 100% by the way, so... Yeah. But let's try again. That thing is huge. So that thing is gonna hit no matter what. If you leave it at default. So, let me try... Pulsar magic now? Yeah, pulsar magic. So Postal Magic can reach all the way towards the left cactus. Um, let's test out the damage, see how it goes, right? Okay, so I have 1.5k HP kinda there. So we could we should be able to survive a pulsar or two, right? Uh let me turn on friendly fire. We're gonna test out blast magic. Okay, I mean that's like one eighth, right? Looks like 1-6? No, 1-6, right? 1-6 of the HP bar, and... Okay, let me wait for it to regen again. And then we can test out B-Magic, Explosion, and Pulsar, right? Alright, let's try out B-Magic. Oh, I accidentally typed in chat. Okay, I mean... It's a little bit... It's half of Explosion. Or, you know, if you want it to make it simpler, it's basically half. So... I mean, it's alright. It seems fine. You can mix it around, you know. Um, I feel like maybe metal would do more, but who knows. Now, let's try explosion. Explosion does a little bit. It's like in between B magic and blast magic. So, actually a little bit better than beam, right? I know beam is like faster. And like, earth is supposed to be faster anyways. Huh, that's not bad. Okay, now let's try pulsar. Okay, I mean, oh god, oh, oh no, 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 please, sir, I didn't mean to hit you, man. Oh man, let's just use Pulsar on him. Shit, man, he destroyed him in my battleground. Are you kidding me, man? This is why we can have good things. He destroyed him in my blast. Ugh. God, good old NPCs these days. Can't give me some privacy. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, it took some damage there, so that's bad. But without a, a direct hit with Pulsar, I know if I go closer, I would do more damage, right? But it basically took about one third of my health, Pulsar, right? From afar. And also when it landed on the impact. So that's fine. Um, earlier when I used the Earth Pulsar, like it reached it all the way on the Bandit Elder there. Because the size. <laughs> but now, I mean, it does about the same, honestly. I think they're the same. Like, they're the same, like, right now from what I see, but I think it's honestly just preference, right? If you can't land your hits, I think going Earth might be it. But if you're feeling more confident, Metal might be, like, much better, right? Because the bleed, right? And, uh, you know, extra bleed bonus damage when you combo, so... But yeah, thanks to you. Thanks guys for watching. I don't know what I was trying to say. I tripped up. <laughs> but yeah, see you another time.